Ще буде мало джей. Ай, може? Sakia Vasilevich on guitar. Thank you very much for coming into the music show on our end. Thank you, thanks for having us. Well, the, the style of music we just heard there, a polo, which is a, a traditional wedding song, I get the impression this is something that could have gone for much, much longer. <laughs> Do you know what? We were trying to practice for this show last night, and we were somehow trying to create a piece that was under four minutes as requested. Um, I mean, yesterday we played a Serbian wedding. Um, and I think the collar went on for over 20 minutes. It'll go through kind of eight key changes. You'll be playing the crowd, bringing it down, bringing it up. So it's, yeah, it's a challenge trying to contain 
that for a four minute structure. Can you explain this style? So it's about this wonderful, joyful celebration, but as you've said, it's teasing. It's, it's, it's bringing, uh -huh. bringing all the emotions of yeah. what a wedding is about to life. I mean, it's about playing the crowd. So you find a punter, traditionally, who you think is going to give you, um, ultimately, money. So you're trying to pogod him. You're trying to find the right move that's going to fit with his feeling at that second. So when I watch these two, when they work the audience, they will find, okay, this is this person, we can get him with sadness. So they'll bring the music right down, so like he will bring back Branco down, and they'll play right next to his ear until he cries. Or they'll see someone who's obviously in the mood for just smashing glasses <laughs> um, and dancing, and then they'll bring it right up and they'll bring the tempo up. One of Branco's idols, it's been mentioned that his colours are going to live on, the style in which he played, and this is Bob and Voigt. Maybe you can talk about his style and, and why, what he brought to the collar that was so important. Uh, uh, Bob and Voigt is the collar that is very important. Bob and Voigt is the collar that is very long ago. That collar existed long before Bob and Voigt. And he learned that from others. But he learned that from others. But he created a much more gentle socialised, more emotional version. Imao je taj drive, da je potencijalno. Da, i svi ga se na neće volimo. Volim promenio to kolo malo na novi, moderni stil. I više duše. What are some some of the other Romani styles of folk? What are some of the other, so that we've heard their expression of music played at a wedding, but what are some of the other expressions? Like what, what settings? Yeah. I mean, from, from my experience, having lived in Branco's village for about five years, um, there's the everyday setting, which is just having people in the house. It's music. I mean, there are the televisions, the smartphones, but still the main form of social gathering is with music, um, playing songs. There's two forms. There's songs and there's kolo. Um, and then there's... They have reached other genres, like there's two kids in Branco's village, one of whom is 14, called Marco, who is very high up in the classical playing in Serbia. Another kid from his village got a scholarship Christian for the Royal Academy in the UK. So there's a lot of them are um, educated at music school. Branco was in a different category because he was never taught by anybody. He just went to his neighbours' doors and listened and caught what he could from other people. How did he come across his first violin? Because you can't use it for thirty years. Because you bought it for him. His aunt bought it for him. And his mum left him when he was tiny. And his aunt bought him up. And his mum left him when he was tiny. And his aunt bought him up. He must have just been thirty when he was tiny. He had six months when his mum left him. And then his aunt gave herself to look after him. And his mum. And his aunt gave herself to look after him. And his mum. And his aunt gave herself to look after him. When he was 13, he said, Aunt, I want a violin, all my friends are playing, and I don't have one. Can you buy me a violin? And so she went and she was cleaning house, and she said, Aunt, I want a violin, all my friends are playing, and I don't have one. She took the violin, she started teaching him to play. And he was very happy with it. And he said, Aunt, I want a violin, all my friends are playing, and I don't have one. And so she took the violin, she started teaching him to play. And he was very happy with it. And he said, Aunt, I want a violin, all my friends are playing, and I don't have one. And then later his friends would say to him, oh, how have you done this? And I'm going to have to play. You're playing differently. You're playing these things we've never heard. You've got big talent. That passion, that desire to drive, there were, there were times when the violin wasn't even at its, its prime, that it had two strings, and, and, and Branko was, was creating music, even under these minimal circumstances. Kaži, nekad ti sam imao dva žeci, kako što ti ispirao tako? I možem, možem moja majka me ostavila, moj tati nije bio tu. Because my dad wasn't there, my mom wasn't there. Ja, sve su bili na drugoj strani. Moja tati je ispirao meni. They were other places, his aunt worked for him. I moja baba, ali oni smo bili mnogo siromašni. And his grand, but we were very poor people. Kada sam ja kupio violin, imao sam četiri žice. When I bought violin, I had four strings. I kada je pukla jedna žica, when one broke, ja više nisam imao par da kupim. I wouldn't have money to buy another one. Ili gudalo se razbi nešto, ja nisam imao te, jer sam sigurno i na loše uslovi su postoji. Na dvježnice, na jednog, tri, i kako po mesec, po dva meseca kako. I da sam ja, možda, moji prijatelji mi daju jednu žicu, imam dve, tri, tako, nikad nisam imao 
Skoro 10 godina tako sam sirao. For 10 years he really had four strings. Incredible. Such passion and such virtuosity that's coming through in your playing brain. That's fantastic. Let's talk faith about your introduction because there are many people that talk about wanting to run away and join the circus when they're mm-hmm. a cliche. But in your case, you went to the circus as a child and you had that dream back then to be a part of one. I did. I was, um, there was a local circus from where I was brought up in Cotswolds and I used to watch um, a lady who played music in it and I thought she was this princess. Um, yeah, I always dreamt that I could be her. And one day I realised through just various chances of fate that I was standing in her shoes and I was being her. And as life goes, you get to that point where you go, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. And the same thing with the life I had with Branko in Serbia, that was something, a very romantic idea of something I dreamt of, and then I realised I was living it. And again, as life goes, you realise you've also moved on from that point, that the reality, yes, is beautiful, but you also move on then to other things. How did you come to decide to, to go to Serbia seeking a, a, a violinist to join the service? What, what? I'd, it was a variety of things. I had a research grant from the Winston Churchill Trust to go and study accordion. So I went to a school near Branko. There's a little Roma school that was advertised. Um, and I was also looking for a violinist, so I'd asked around people there, which was how I was first led to meet in Branko. And I was also working for BBC Oxford um, to gather sound clips to create a show for them. So yeah, there were three reasons. And it was through Branko that you started to learn the Romney style, which I'd, I'd love for you to, to give maybe a little example, but because he taught you how to play the accordion using his violin, which I find fascinating. Yeah. How can that be? He, um, he did it through his arms, through his legs, through his voice. It's quite, the way that Roma teach each other is quite alpha and it's quite aggressive, partly because it's pretty much only men who play that music. So I had to really be stern to myself to not get upset by it, because their, their way is like they get up at each other. They say, it's not good enough, you're awful. So it's by doing that they want to give you and steal more energy in you. But I can show you. I will tell you the first part of the I teach you later. Read that. 